So, I planned on having a super productive day and doing some filming and I was just film filming? I was just feeding the swans at the lake and I dropped my phone in the water so now I'm borrowing Jay's phone to try and sort out some kind of upgrade but the problem is I didn't have any insurance and it was a new contract so yeah this morning has been fantastic I think what I'm gonna do is film like a little pregnancy update and show you guys my workout and stuff like that um, my eyeball it keeps like watering it's really annoying I'm trying not to stress about my phone but I really need it for like all my work stuff um, <sighs> which is really frustrating. This is like the second time as well that this has happened to me. I dropped it in the water about four months ago and now I've done it again. I think moral of the story is that I should not have a phone near water because I'm a nightmare, obviously. Are you gonna go in your bath? Your sand bath? <laughs> oh, look at him. Fluff your little wins. 26 week little bump update. I will actually be 27 weeks tomorrow. So I'm just about to do my workout. The one that I've been doing is with Expecting and Empowered. They basically break everything up to be like really simple for the first trimester, second and third and also postpartum. So I'm on week 26 to week 27. Today I'm going to be doing the upper body. So we have some flexibility stretches uh, which I've already done and then it goes to pelvic floor exercises which is really really useful for pregnancy and then you go into the actual workout so the only thing that I have missing is the resistance band so I'm basically just going to compromise but everything else should be okay so yeah <laughs> do a little like pregnancy update I realized that I haven't done one of these yet since I've been pregnant and I really want to just kind of share where I'm at how I'm feeling so today I am 27 weeks and it has been a roller coaster so I am now in my final week before I hit my third trimester. Sorry guys, I just wanna quickly pause this video to let you know that I am already in my third trimester. So you hit the third trimester at 27 weeks, which probably explains a lot more why I'm having the symptoms that I'm having and I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. So yeah, we can go back to the video now. Which just seems absolutely insane. For me, the second trimester has flown by, but the first trimester, because I had quite a few like ups and downs, it seemed to drag on a lot more. The past week has been slightly a bit of a struggle. About a week ago, I noticed that my feet were kind of starting to like swell. I know it is like a common symptom of pregnancy, but I did Google it and it sounded a little bit more to me like it was more common in the third trimester and I started to see that online this could also be signs of pre-eclampsia pre-eclampsia <laughs> I think that's how you say it I looked into it a little bit further and started to get a little bit worried so I spoke to my midwife and she said it's probably best that you just come in and get it checked out anyway things are not so simple with just going to the GP because of all the precautions that you have to take so 
yeah it's just been like a lot of stuff going on so i went to see the midwife anyway and i did like a urine sample she took my blood pressure and everything was fine so i'm trying to be a little bit more like kind of positive she did say that it could still be something that is like brewing in the background but it's just not picking up yet so i have another appointment in about six or seven days for my 28 week scan no sorry for my 28 week midwife appointment um, and she will double check everything there and then again so i'm just like praying 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 that everything is okay obviously but um other than that i would say i've been really really good i do notice that i'm a lot more exhausted easily now <laughs> i get really out of breath and even just doing like workouts has become so so exhausting i was really proud of myself yesterday because i actually did manage to finish all three rounds of my workout with um expecting and empowered but i'll be totally and brutally honest i have really slacked when it comes to working out in, in this pregnancy as a whole and i've kind of just listened to my body a lot more and done what what feels right for me and not compared myself to anybody else i feel like i'm always hungry i feel like i could just literally eat a horse most of the time another thing i've recently noticed is the baby movements are a lot more consistent now i can feel him all the time uh, pretty much all the time and he has a little bit of a routine now so i notice like every time in the morning when i wake up he is like a lot more active and then he kind of from then on throughout the day like on and off he is moving around one really good thing is that since i hit 20 weeks i haven't had any more sickness i had like a grand finale of sickness at week 20 and it was really quite horrific and then from then on i haven't fingers crossed had any more i'm really hoping that when i get into the third trimester it stays that way i did feel a little bit nauseous yesterday but i think it was like totally unrelated i'm getting really really excited now because it's only like 13 weeks until i will be at week 40 which is when i am expecting another thing that i have really really suffered with in the second trimester is raging heartburn so that has been a new thing for me because even before my pregnancy i had never ever experienced heartburn before i know people in my family have and i always kind of wondered what it was the first time i had it i knew exactly what it was because it kind of says it in the name it always seems to strike me of a night time as well it starts creeping up and then i know that i have to take some gaviscon as much as i hate taking gaviscon it's the only thing that seems to really like work so yeah another thing that i do is drink a glass of milk before bed because that also seems to help settle the heartburn a little bit so these are just things that work for me they may not work for you but um obviously everybody is different and everyone's pregnancy is different overall pregnancy has been a really amazing confusing roller coaster of emotions i don't really know what else has gone on throughout the second trimester that i can really share if you guys would like to see more updates or anything else please let me know in the comments hope you guys enjoyed this little update if you did give this vlog a vlog yeah it is a vlog give this vlog a thumbs up for me i will catch you guys next friday bye